one of the key aspects of business analysis is to be able to model the solution before you start building it. In other words, creating a visualization, showing your customers what to expect before even you start coding to build the software. UML or Unified Modeling Language comes in handy to achieve this feat and there are several tools that allow us to model and represent what the thought process is to your customers as well as your developers to ensure that everyone's on the same page. There are a lot of online tools available, many of them free of cost, as well as open source tools that can help you draw out UML models. These tools can allow you to gain consensus with your business users, development and testing teams to make sure that the product is proceeding towards a path that the customer is expecting and something that would work for them. So let's take a look at some of the online tools available and then jump into Star UML, the tool that we'll be using as part of this course. Now keep in mind that the relevance for a tool itself is much less compared to understanding the concepts behind a unified modeling language. For instance, if you can draw out a UML model on the back of a napkin, that's good enough as long as you can get the appropriate level of detail, ensure that there are no missing elements, the connectors and symbols are notated accordingly. The tools for business analysts are relatively straightforward. You can pick up any tool in a matter of 15 to 30 minutes uh, as long as you've had a reasonable expectation of what the different components of the tool are and what the tool serves to. So it's not much of learning the UML tool that uh, we'll be focusing on, but more about what UML stands for and what are the different representations that UML uh, has inbuilt. We will be using Star UML since it's an open source tool and uh, licensing wise, you could download it and retain it for as long as you'd like. You can practice even after the course is over. So it allows you a lot of flexibility as well as it resembles some of the enterprise tools that are being utilized in the market. That said, the online tools are also relatively straightforward and easy to use. You have nothing to install and you can easily practice your uh, UML using these tools. So one tool is not much of a preference compared to others. So go with the online tool or Star UML or uh, even Visio if you have your hands on it. But keep in mind that UML representation and learning the foundations and notations and best practices is far more important than getting the tool itself. And the tools are very simple to learn and very straightforward to use as you'll learn in the next upcoming videos. Now let's take a look at some of the online tools available that we recommend for you to build up your UML models upon. Here are some of the online UML tools where there is nothing to install, all you need is a browser. Perhaps some of the tools would uh, require JavaScript to be enabled, but uh, these are some of the tools that you could uh, practice UML on without the need to install or configure any software in your machine. The first one we recommend would be Lucid Chart. It's a simple drag and drop interface. All these tools that we are covering would pretty much be very simple drag and drop self-explanatory tools. The second one would be draw.io. You could also try out Creately, Gliffy, or Kaku.com. All these tools should be very self-explanatory to use. Any of these tools would work, or if you already have your hands on uh, Visio, uh, Microsoft Visio that would work as well. They have a UML template uh, and um, stencil as well. So uh, you could use any of these tools as you're following along, along the demo. And the key is to keep in mind that you're focusing on the diagrams and the different constructs and how to get them right rather than mastering several of these tools. As long as, long as you can uh, utilize one of these tools, you could very easily pick up any UML tool that is used with your client. 